recording. One of the Swans' better players, no doubt about that. Two of them flying together. Well, this is embarrassing, isn't it? Look at the Stretch numbers around the ball. From Cuthbertson. And this is Todd Viney now at left half forward. Perhaps a little bit short of that position. Kicks to the 50 metre line. Beveridge missed the mark. Oh, look. Backup support from Spalding. Oh. And Stein's on his own. He was about that. three or four metres in the clear, Don, wasn't oh. he? Steins was back here contesting a mark a while ago, and now he's down there. I mean, it's just bad marking. Everywhere the ball's falling, there's Melbourne. Steins from, well, 25 metres out, kicks a goal and gets the goal. So Melbourne get their 18, 17 goal, rather. 17, 18 to 7, 8. It's a difference of 70 points. And here's the mark. It'll be... Quickly there, Spalding playing on quickly, and Steins by himself down in the forward line. And an accurate kick for goal. He's kicked one point today, one goal, one to Jim Steins. The centre ruck work's been a bit better too. He's starting to jump up there. Knowing his class on the smaller ground, here's Tingo, uh, the loose man again is there. Oh, Look at this. this I've shot. never seen a swan side so less committed. Another loose man on his own. Oh, Steins 20 metres out directly in front. And this is the worst committed swan side I've seen in a long time. They normally burrow in Do and they, they usually tackle, have a go, don't they? Don't they? But not today. And there's a well, oh. there's a very disheartened Swans fan. Look at the look on his face. As Jimmy Steins comes in for another easy kick at goal from 25 metres. Kicks and right through the middle. So Steins has kicked his second. And Melbourne just doing as they like. 1918 to 7 8. And there's, look, there's a look of happiness. And he's leading the cheer for Melbourne. <laughs> well, they haven't had much cheer about in recent weeks, the Melbourne supporters. But uh, Earl Spalding playing on. We both anguished. Peter and I over the fact of the looseness of their defenders. It was shocking. Tunbridge has got to run with Steins because he's kicked two goals in this last quarter by running deep into the forward line. 